Hey, what's going on guys? It's Unlock5 and today I want to show you how to be fit and be a Call of Duty athlete or just a video game athlete in general. Now, I want to start off with this very old clip and you'll see some of the clips are uh, vertical. That's alright, but this is a uh, very old clip that I'd like to start out with. And uh, um, it was in my Thanksgiving vlog 2016. I was 13 then, just turned, and that's what I was working with. And I also want to show you guys a uh, picture of when I was seven in my body, if I could find that. All right, so I just looked back, and I could not find the photo of when I was seven, but I was buff as hell, man. I mean, I was I was shocked when I saw it myself. But um, this took years of training. Um, I'm currently at my fifth year of martial arts, and I am a first-degree brown belt. So uh, I think that has something to do with my body mass or anything. But um, I want to show you guys this picture. It was taken over a year ago, but everybody th says I have, like, man titties. They are pegs, so if you see it through the shirt, it's not titties. And here's the picture right here. So this was also a year ago. This was 155 pounds in 8th grade. And if you can't tell already, I was uh, doing negatives with the substitute gym teacher. And it was pretty heavy, if I do say so myself. And I just want to show you how far I've come. Anyways, if you didn't catch this vlog, uh, it was in 3-year-old plays Nintendo Switch vlog. And it was where I uh, sorry, went to my cousin's house. You'll see me bust down. I mean, it's not the best angle. But uh, this is what I do every day. It looks like I wasn't breathing, but trust me, I was breathing pretty hard. And, um... This was when I was in 8th grade, but it wasn't a year ago. This was 2017, and uh, I believe I was doing them on my knuckles. And uh, I did 50. Back then, I did 40 as a routine. Now I do 50 routinely. But um, back then, it was like 50 was going above and beyond. It would be like me do hitting 60 right now. And um, what inspired me to make this video was actually Korean. And uh, my boy Asex Green, because Green is a senior. And then um, him and a dude named Dreams, they like work out. And then uh, Green said he'll be able to do um, 200 by the end of his senior year. 210, sorry, but um, I know this is uh, 40 push ups, 40 or 50. I'm not sure. You'll see in a minute. But I. Uh, I know that during this time, I was fighting a sinus infection and a flu at the same time. So uh, I hope that inspires you guys because I was extremely sick and still exercising. And that's because I came from a uh, two-week overnight camp, which is uh, torture itself. But you couldn't have any cell phones. So just adjusting to everything was really sickening. I felt like there was uh, the gravity. I felt gravity like pushing down on me. So, I don't know. You'll see me struggle at the end, like, lift my feet or whatever. But that's only because uh, I was extremely sick. But I was still exercising. And uh, in order to maintain all the exercise from when I was away, uh, I had to do 100 push-ups a day at the camp. 100 push-ups a day for two weeks. Anyways, this is me lifting 155 in the beginning of ninth grade. So, uh, you'll see how much easier it got for me from when I was lifting it in eighth grade. So I was lifting it by myself, no negatives. I was still kind of struggling. Also looks like I wasn't breathing through it, but I was breathing. And um, I always try to push myself. I wanted to go one more and I got four reps. Now, I believe this was from like two weeks ago, maybe this was 165. And you'll see me uh, lift it up. I don't know, you could, uh, it felt sort of easier to lift um so i lifted up thrice by myself and then uh with my coach i started to lift it up uh doing negatives i did four negatives and uh yeah i was kind of struggling on this last one and he helped me up i wasn't able to go down all the way so uh it's progress that's 165 you know it's not it's nothing horrible now this is one of my friends and basically he was like how the hell are you only 14 and this strong? So, meaning at one point, he was over two years older than I was. And he admitted that I was <laughs> larger than he was. Anyways, I do these uh, pictures showing my uh, muscle growth progress. So, uh, yeah, here's one of them. 
Now, taking it a step further, this is 175 pounds. And you can see how, quote unquote, easily I'm lifting it up. I mean, it's it was a bit easier. I feel like my flow was a little bit better than um, the 165. And we started doing negatives. I don't know how many negatives I actually did. Yeah, okay, so I did one more negative after this one. And yeah, I felt like I did it better flow-wise than 165. Now this is 185, taking it even more of a step further. My spotter was acting stupid, but uh, <laughs> that's all right. He caused me to laugh and bug out and <laughs> mess up. But uh, it's all good. I feel like um, this just proves, uh, this is just to me, looking back at this, this is like an accomplishment. I'm very proud of myself. Now, this right here is 195 pounds, and I handle it pretty well. I did a whole three reps by myself with uh, no negatives, so that's an accomplishment by itself. And um, my gym teacher can't even hit that, who you can see on the left uh, standing by me in case it falls. He says he can't even hit that, so that's how you know i'm really i'm really showing progress now this right here is 200 pounds and um i feel like i can hit more than 200 pounds but uh the thing was i had lifted so much weights already that my arms were getting tired and uh, as you can see i um i mean i, I could have uh popped it the weight back um off my chest but that wouldn't have been great so, uh, of course, my friends helped me uh, get that third one up. So, I guess uh, I did two and a half reps there. Uh, I was going halfway with the reps because, uh, you know. But I, I wasn't in any sort of danger. Uh, I, I know it looks like I, I was going to die there. But, um, no, I wasn't in any sort of danger. My gym teacher wasn't worried at all. And uh, the next strongest person in my class was like, you're going to kill yourself. Which was just very funny to me. Now, student-wise, uh, my school goes from 6th grade to 12th grade, and uh, 200 pounds is actually the second most any student has lifted, and uh, progress-wise, it's the best in the school. A ninth grader, a freshman, hitting 200 pounds. The only person who hit over 200 pounds was a, um, was a senior, I believe, so that's cool. And that kid already graduated, so... I mean, I'm extremely proud of myself for, uh, I know I keep saying that, but th that's, that's pretty big for me at least. And yes, this is how much I weigh. So being able to lift almost 42 pounds over my, uh, weight is pretty good. And, um, I weigh 155 pounds because of muscle and I actually lost two pounds. How did I get like this? Well, one, uh, for the most part, I only drink water. Um, I go on diets that consist of only uh, replacing all your beverages for water for a few weeks. And um, repetition helps. I've trained like this for, since I was like seven years old, I would uh, take a steel chair, put uh, lay down on the floor and lift it like 200 times. That's how I was. When I was seven, I was crazy strong. I actually think if I kept it really consistent since I was seven, I would be a lot stronger than I am now. And <laughs> my father, okay, he has about 13 years in the martial arts. And ever since I was two, we would uh, he would start to do two major things with me. One is cooking, and that's why you see me cooking my vlogs a lot. And two is roughhouse. Now, your definition of roughhousing and our definition of roughhousing, trust me, is two completely different things. I, I can look at a uh, World Star video, or it's just a 2017 fight video, and laugh to myself at the attacker, not even at the victim. I can laugh to myself because these kids really don't know how to fight, and I can think about moves to my head to get myself out of the situations that these kids are in. Just look at these kids when they're on top of each other, swinging their arms, like, come on, bro. It's so easy to take them down. These kids lay on the floor helplessly. Anyways, we're getting off topic. Anyways, guys, this video is getting a little long, so I'm gonna leave you guys with some gameplay showing that 
I'm just like Korean <laughs> and uh, gaming wise. But uh, anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I love you all. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Almost. No, I'm good.